Today's video is going to be brought to you by my first wig. Of course, you guys know I'm going to make sure to leave all the specs down below. And before I even get started on everything, make sure you hit the subscribe button to my channel if you are not. And if you are subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications. So this one's going to be a little different. This is going to be a curly texture unit. And this is the box in the bag that they send you. And they do send a little pick, a little Afro pick, so you guys can pick your hair out. And they sent me over their Malaysian middle part curly lace front wig. This is a part of the K and Kosh collection. This lace color on this unit is a medium brown. It says that the hair texture is silky. This is 14 inches and you do get six inches of parting space. Now new thing that they are starting to do is add on an elastic band for you and you can detach it if it doesn't fit your head correctly and you can also adjust it to make sure that it fits your head good so I do love that I don't have to add in an elastic band to get a good fit this is what the unit looks like now that it has been freshly washed as you guys can see the curls are definitely popping and I do have a bag over my mannequin head to kind of protect it just because it is a canvas head so it will get dirty quick and this is still kind of new so I don't want to mess it up just yet but I'll make sure to leave a link down below for you guys so that you can purchase it and I am going to make sure to secure this and use some t-pins to hold it in to place Finally going to go for the wash and go looks. So I'll be using this natural curl defining cream by the company Eden Body Works. And I'll make sure to leave a link down below where you can find that. And I'm going to be using my spray bottle. You wanna make sure you keep one on hand because usually with curly units, depending on the texture of it and how long you're going to be taking to style it, it may get dry in certain areas. So you wanna keep it on hand. I was not sure of how this curl pattern was going to come out, but as you you guys can see as I am combing through it the curls are definitely clumping up and you guys know with this type of hair texture is going to get shorter because the shrinkage is definitely real on this unit but the curls are really pretty so I wanted to brush it out first and then I'm going to end up putting the curl cream in it and then I'm going to end up brushing it out again just because I wanted to play around and see exactly how the texture was going to look and I was unsure of how I was going to wear this wig if I was going to do a middle part or if I was going to go ahead and opt for side part so right now I have it parted in the middle and then I'm going to eventually opt for the side part this unit you will get your pre plucked hairline I did go in and bleach the knots on this unit now I do love the lace on their units but I did feel like I did have to bleach the knots just to make it look more realistic now you don't have to just because their knots are really small and they're not super dark so powder will definitely take care of it this unit was really easy during the washing process I did not get a lot of hair out of this unit I thought it was going to be more of a tighter curl pattern but it was more like a looser curl pattern but it definitely still has some texture to it so it's really easy to work with and as you guys see the brush just glides through it with no issues after I am done putting the cream throughout the hair I'm just showing you guys the amount of shedding I got while styling the unit then I'm just going to go back in with a brush and then I'm just going to make sure to define it all over again like I said before this unit was very easy to style one thing I will say is that this unit does not need a lot of products honestly I could have just not put as much cream as I did but I'm still gonna work it out because I did not want to have to rewash this again now I'm just gonna go in with my lot of body foam wrap and I'm just going to comb the hairline back I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do I didn't know if I wanted to do baby hairs or no baby hairs but I opted not to do any and just to kind of give it a nice sleek curly look all of that is done I'm going to let this air dry and not touch it guys because I do not want to disturb the curl pattern I want it to dry just how I styled it and it did take a while to dry just because it was really wet and it was also kind of cold outside so 
of course that does slow up the process but this is what the unit looks like after it is fully dried on the mannequin head the curls on this are absolutely beautiful that is what the parting space is looking like and it's more like a deep wave at the top and then it has a nice curl pattern at the bottom okay so i'm just going to put this on my head and y'all look at this <laughs> look how stiff this thing looks yeah we gonna definitely work it out that's why i was saying that i didn't need too much product on this unit so i'm gonna make sure i definitely put some serum in that just to kind of make it move and have a little bit more life to it because it is definitely set now i am just working on cutting the lace and i want to touch on how the wig fits with this elastic band on it this thing fits okay and i'm gonna make sure to put the cap size that i am because their caps already fit me really good anyway. So with this band on it, it's fitting me snug. It's not going to go anywhere. I don't need anything extra to lay this wig down. Now, if I wanted to do like an up style or something, I could definitely use some adhesive, but for the style that I'm wearing, nothing extra is going to be needed for this unit. So after I am done cutting the lace off of this unit, I'm just going to take the pick and I'm going to go ahead and start picking some of this hair out. I thought this pick was really cute, y'all. I'm gonna use the Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Serum and run it through my hair. And then after I am done, I'm going to use the pick and pick apart the hair so that it can break the cast of the cream that I use so that it won't be looking all stiff and crazy. So you wanna make sure with this type of texture, if you are using any cream, you to make sure you pick it apart so that it can look even nicer and that it will give it a nice luster and not look so shiny from all of the products put into it but so far so good it is looking nice now this unit like i said is 14 inches so i did have to play around with it a lot more than i'm used to just because I'm used to getting longer lengths when I get curly hair. So this one goes all the way up to 20 inches. I would have been really happy with a 16 inch because, or an 18 inch even, because it would have definitely hit my shoulder. And I prefer it to go just a little bit longer because you guys know that it is going to draw up. So I prefer a little bit more length when it comes to this hair type. But for the most part, I think it looks really natural. This is the length of my real hair. I will insert a picture of my real hair for you guys who have not seen it when I do my wash and goes. But my hair is not as super thick as this hair. So I think it looks really good. But now I'm just going to go in with my got to be gel and just on the side I'm going to swoop over just a little bit of hair. Now you don't have to do that just because their lace looks really natural but I just think it needed a little bit of something on the side. And then I'm just going to go on the other side and I was undecided on if I wanted to do baby hairs like I said and then I opted not to. I was like no it looks fine as is to go around my hairline and add a little bit of powder just to make it blend in more i didn't need a lot of powder because their lace just kind of melts onto your head so a lot of powder is definitely not needed when it comes to their units i did have to go into the parting space and add some powder just because the cap that i have on it's more on the lighter side and i prefer darker caps because with their units the lace is so then that you want to make sure you have on something that's not going to really show underneath overall i like the way that it came out like i said i definitely had to style it to my face because it is a shorter length i would just go longer for my own personal preference but i think that this would be cute for every day it's not as much fuss as like a kinky curly unit this is more on the silkier side the hairline on this is bomb i have nothing negative to say when it comes to my first wig hairline and their parting space you could part this in the middle on the side this would even be cute for a low ponytail the curls on this are definitely popping i did get a little bit of tangling in the nape area but that's to be expected with this type of curl pattern this one will be definitely easy to refresh as you guys can see as soon as i put water on it i was easily able to run the comb and the brush through this hair so guys let me know what you think of this shorter unit on me i think it's a cute little wash and go if you guys are interested in this unit i'm going to make sure to leave all of the links down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel once again if you haven't turn on your notification button share and like this video and i will see you guys next time bye guys